Yeah, that's my pen. 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 Yeah,
Nikki self-identifies himself as Nikki Santoro. I mean he had me, Nikki Santoro. Nikki acknowledges names such as Nick. This is Nick. Who's this? Me. Nick? And Nick. Yeah, and Nikki. That's your one love. Nikki. Nikki has no reputed names. Nikki identifies no alias. Nikki acknowledges no alias. Nikki has two reputed aliases. The little guy from Gaji. The little guy. He wouldn't be fucking the Jew's wife, would he? Because if he is, it's a problem. And the 22 caliber killer from the fake news media. Did you ever hear the 22 caliber killer? Nikki previously lived somewhere in the Chicago area commonly referred to as back home. Everybody's back home. Even back home years ago, when we were first hanging out together. And later moves 1,500 miles away to the Las Vegas area. Every couple of weeks, I used to send Marino back to the bosses with a piece of what I made. Not a big piece, but fuck them. What did they know? They were 1,500 miles away, and I don't know anybody who can see that far. Nikki Santoro has a family, and as a husband, father, and brother, he has a wife, Jennifer Santoro. What's that? A son, Nicky Santoro Jr. But around 6.30 in the morning, when he finished his day, no matter where he was or what he was doing, he always went home to make breakfast for his son, Nicky Boy. Oh, that's not for you. I know you like this. Little butter, right? Not a lot. You know why, right? Yeah. Why? Because it clogs up your heart. What a smart kid you are. And a brother, Dominic Santoro. I had my kid brother Dominic run it for me. Fuckers. Here you go, guys. Nikki Santoro has two close friends Samuel Ace Rothstein, who he has known for for 35 years. It's so fucking dangerous, and why don't you kill him? I kill him. I shut the fuck up. What do you know what you're talking about? Oh, well, I'm not then have me. him killed and get it over hey, with. Hey, don't be such a fucking smart ass, will ya? I, mean, I know the fucking guy 35 years. I'm gonna fucking whack him for you. And Frank Marino. But, I mean, Frank Marino was there to meet him, but so were the cops. Nikki is the leader of a criminal burglary gang whose members are Dominic Santoro, Frank Marino, and... I had a good fucking crew going for me, I'll tell you that. I had Sal Fusco, a great second story guy. Jack Hardy, he worked for a safe company before he did a six-year bit. And then there was Bernie Blue. This guy can bypass any alarm for me. Nikki also has a few acquaintances, such as Charlie Clark, Ace's banker. So I put some of the money into legitimate deals with Charlie Clark. He was Ace's banker. Hookers, degenerate gamblers. You know you're a lying, low-life, motherfucking gambling degenerate prick. You know that's what you are? And bookies. All right. Hey, how man. you doing? How you doing? Good, good. You got that thing for me? What thing? Oh, what Nick, you I thought you was laying. I was laying? No, no, I'm taking it. I was taking it. You sure? I'm positive. Well, I'm a little confused. Then. You're a little confused? Maybe if I stick your fucking face through uh, this window over here, like, you know, you'll, you'll get unconfused. Give me the fucking money. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah, I know. That's why you had it ready. You thought I was fucking laying it? I'm fucking it. Fucking head, huh? Nikki also sent his son Nikki Jr. to a private Catholic school and might himself be Italian Catholic. Don't listen, don't don't make a scene, all right? I wanna just talk She didn't know I who to turn to. That Irish she, bitch. she didn't know where to turn. She's trying to save your marriage. Yeah, Nikki, I wanna talk to that fucking bitch. I mean, hey, be fucking nice. Calm. Be nice. Don't fuck up in here. Nikki Santoro is 51 years old, as Joe Pesci, the actor who portrayed Nikki Santoro, was 51 years old when the filming of Casino began on September 14, 1994. Nikki Santoro was born in 1932 or 1931, as Casino begins in 1983, as Nikki Santoro is 51 years old. 51 minus 1983 is 1932, but he might also have been born in 1931.
Nikki is five foot four inches tall. He weighs between 170 and 190 pounds. He is white with blue eyes. He has brown hair with a patch of gray in the style of a short trim haircut with a clean shaven face. Nikki Santoro wears expensive silk suits with business casual leisure wear and silk robes at home. Nikki wears a ring on his right pinky finger and a gold diamond necklace that reads HS. Within the story of Casino, Nikki Santoro commits a number of criminal acts, including manufacturing a car bomb, transporting a car bomb, attempted murder, destruction of property, arson, assault, burglary, smuggling stolen goods out of a foreign country, smuggling stolen goods into U.S. soil, assault, domestic violence, strong arm robbery, assault, loan sharking, poker collusion, assault, 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 destruction of property, residential burglary, selling stolen property, knowingly receiving stolen property, burglary, 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 commercial commercial burglary, possession of an NFA-controlled silencer, soliciting prostitution, torture, murder, illegal surveillance, conspiracy to commit assault and battery, trespassing, breaking and entering, home invasion, murder, 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 manufacturing a car bomb, transporting a car bomb, murder, arson. Nikki was questioned in two dozen murders. They found a guy's head in the desert. Do you know about that? Yeah, I heard, yeah. Loitering. $100 whoever hits the plan. Soliciting destruction of property. Speeding. Assault. 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 Soliciting illegal surveillance. Assault. Murder. In total, Nikki commits 121 individual criminal acts, amounting to 28 different types of crimes, including 49 counts of assault, 34 counts of murder, 8 counts of burglary, 2 counts of manufacturing a car bomb, 2 counts of transporting a car bomb, 2 counts of destruction of property, 2 counts of arson, 1 count of soliciting destruction of property, 1 count of attempted murder, 1 count of torture, 1 count of strong arm robbery, 1 count of domestic violence, one count of illegal surveillance, one count of soliciting illegal surveillance, one count of smuggling stolen goods out of a foreign country, one count of smuggling stolen goods into U.S. soil, one count of loan sharking, one count of poker collusion, one count of selling stolen property, one count of knowingly receiving stolen property, one count of possession of an NFA-controlled silencer, one count of soliciting prostitution, one count conspiracy to commit assault and battery, one count trespassing, one count breaking and entering, one count home invasion, one count loitering, and one count speeding. You believe this shit? Yeah, I believe it. You got banned. <laughs> it was a notorious and unsavory reputation. No matter how big a guy might be, Nicky would take him on. You beat Nicky with fists, he comes back with a bat. You beat him with a knife, he comes back with a gun. And if you beat him with a gun, you better kill him. Because he'll keep coming back and back until one of you is dead. Within the story of Casino, Nicky Santoro is described as... No matter how big a guy might be, Nicky would take him on. Because he'll keep coming back and back until one of you is dead. But nobody had to take care of Nicky. What were they going to do? Muscle Nicky? <laughs> Nicky was the muscle. And Nicky, being Nicky... He made his presence known. Nikki's dedication to his job, but Nikki didn't care. They were very careful. Nobody out there was expecting a guy like him. He wanted to take over. He wanted to go after Gadji, go after the skim, go after everything and everybody. Plus, he had stopped asking permission from back home for every little thing. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Good, yeah. You got that thing for me? What thing? Oh, oh Nikki, I thought you was laying. I was laying? No, no, I'm taking it. I was taking it. You sure? I'm positive. Well, I'm a little confused. You're a little confused? Maybe if I stick your fucking face to uh, this window over here, like, you know, you'll, you'll get unconfused. Give me the fucking money. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Right. Yeah, I know. That's why you had it ready. You thought I was fucking laying it? I'm fucking head. I'm fucking head, huh? Smart enough. Fuck around, Tony. Within the story of Casino, Nikki Santoro is valued, feared, 
cooperated with, competed against, non-acted, and avoided. Nikki Santoro is cooperated with out of value in several different ways. He is given jobs. Yeah, guy, keep a good eye on it. But the bosses didn't send me out there to have a good time. They sent me out there to make sure that nobody fucked with Ace. And nobody interfered with the fucking skim. But I knew how to keep the bosses happy. Whenever they gave me little jobs to do, you know, to send a message, I would carry things out to a T. Yeah, she's leaving her back now. All right, I'm going to follow her. She was doing pretty good with her lawsuit. But before she could start counting her money, the boys back home decided to settle the case out of court instead. So they sent me. Solicited for jobs. It's so fucking dangerous, and why don't you kill him? I kill him? Well, shut the fuck up. What do you know what you're talking about? Oh, well, I'm not then have me. him killed and get it over hey, with. Hey, don't be such a fucking smart ass, will ya? I'm, I know the fucking guy 35 years. I'm gonna fucking whack him for you. Solicited for help. Tell me you gamble the fucking money. I'll give you the fucking money to put the fucking heat on. Assembles teams. I had a good fucking crew going for me. I'll tell you that. Assembles networks. He had tipsters all over town. Bellman. This one looks good. But you got to hurry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Valet Parkers. They're just checking in now. Okay, I'll tell them. Pit bosses. Yeah, room 12:30 at the Soraco. 12:30, right? Secretaries. Condition coins. Condition. All right. And they all got a piece of the score. Given resources. I'm an okay you tend to get even and that's it. Then you gotta get out of before the cops and newspapers are all over you. Then and that's it. Nikki Santoro is cooperated with out of fear. He is given resources. Maybe if I stick your fucking face to uh, this window over here, like you know, you'll you'll get unconfused. Give me the fucking money. Sorry, I didn't mean anything. Yeah, I know. That's why you had it ready. You thought I was fucking laying it? Nikki Santoro is competed against out of value by the Chicago Police Department. Even after a little vacation, they hassled him at the airport. The Nevada Gaming Commission. He will be ejected from any casino in Las Vegas. And the casinos can be fined as much as 100000 every time he shows up. You believe this shit? Yeah, I believe it. You got banned. <laughs> and the FBI. The FBI watched every movie made, but he didn't care. He just didn't care. Within the story of Casino, Nicky Santoro faces several different challenges. He faces the challenge of risk when committing all of his illegal actions and acts of violence. He faces the challenge of impediment by the Chicago Police Department, the Nevada Gaming Commission, and the FBI. He faces the challenge of failure when failing to secure the skim and plant his own flag in Las Vegas. If it goes bad for me, it's gonna go bad for a lot of people. Yeah, understand? forget about your fucking license. I plant my own flag out here. You ain't gonna need a fucking license. It just didn't sink into his head about the black book and what it meant. Not being able to go into a casino is just one thing, but being in this book etched your name into the brains of every cop and FBI agent in the state. I mean, you're listed in there with Al Capone. But Nikki didn't care. Well, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. They ain't getting rid of me. They're not getting rid of me. I'm staying here. Fuck them. Fuck them. Even after a little vacation, they hassled him at the airport. I mean, Frank Marino was there to meet him, but so were the cops. This time, they wanted to pinch him for some diamond burglary in Antwerp. Help me fold these they were ready to blame him for anything, no matter where it happened. Put your things away. And they were usually right. Hold it, hold it. Because Here. Nicky enjoyed being a gangster, and he didn't give a damn who knew it. Nicky Santoro is not content, fulfilled, or pacified. He has a purpose, a mission, a goal that he strives and works towards every day. Nicky Santoro's purpose is to be a gangster, to be a criminal. He doesn't care how he does it. He doesn't care how many people he hurts, steals from, or kills. He is a criminal and doesn't care who knows it. If you don't have my money for me, I'll crack your fucking head wide open in front of everybody in the bank. And just about the time that I'm coming out of jail, hopefully, you'll be coming out of your coma. And guess what? I'll split your fucking head open again. Because I'm fucking stupid. I don't give a fuck about jail. That's my business. Nicky Santoro has no doubt about who he is, and he never tries to be something he's not. 
Nicky Santoro knows himself. He knows what he is and what he isn't. Every action Nicky takes is authentic to who he is. He never once tries to be anything he isn't. And he knows exactly what he is. A criminal. A violent criminal. Nicky understands and has accepted that his choices are sooner or later going to land him either in prison or the morgue, and he is at peace with that. Yeah, he had a foolproof scheme, all right. It wasn't very scientific, but it worked. When he won, he collected. When he lost, he told the bookies to go fuck themselves. What were they going to do, muscle Nicky? <laughs> Nicky was the muscle. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? How you doing? Good, good. You got that thing for me? What thing? Oh, what Nicky, doing? I thought you was laying. I'm laying? No, no, I'm taking it. I was taking it. You sure? I'm positive. Well, I'm a little confused. Then. You're a little confused? Maybe if I stick your fucking face through uh, this window over here, like, you know, you'll, you'll get unconfused. Give me the fucking money. I'm sorry. Nicky Santoro isn't timid. He's not fearful or shy. Nicky Santoro is confident. He is confident in himself, in his abilities, in his success. Every situation he walks himself in, he is confident to his success. He is confident he will get the money. He is confident he will get the job. He is confident he will protect the skim. He is confident he will get the girl. He is confident he will show them who's boss. Nicky Santoro is defined in part by his confidence. Way out of line, Nick. What are you doing? Where's your head? Where's my head? Where's your fucking balls? Huh? You know I'm trying to put something really big together out here. You know what I'm talking about. Huh? You know. If you're acting like this now, how can I depend on you? There's a lot of things going to change out here, and if you want to be there with me, Sammy, you're going to have to go my fucking Listen, way. Man, you got to understand my situation. I'm responsible for thousands of people. I got a hundred million a year going through the place. It's all over. I'm going to tell you, it's all over if I don't get that license. And believe me, if it goes bad for me, it's going to go bad for a lot of people. Yeah, you understand? forget about your fucking license. I plant my own flag out here. You ain't going to need a fucking license. I knew what he wanted, and I didn't want any part of it. Nicky wanted to take over. He wanted to go after Gadji, go after the skim, go after everything and everybody. Nicky Santoro is not a product of his environment. His environment is a product of him. Nicky is not content with the way things are. Nicky is not okay to sit idly by while he marches ever closer to the grave. Nicky Santoro wants to change things. He wants to take over Las Vegas. He wants to take over the Las Vegas skim. He wants to kick Gaji and the Chicago outfit out of Las Vegas and set up his own crime family in Las Vegas. Nicky Santoro has ambition. Nicky Santoro is not a product of his environment. His environment is a product of him. He wants to make the world and the future a product of him. He wants himself and everyone else to live in the future he creates. Normally, my prospects of coming back alive from a meeting with Nicky were 99 out of 100. But this time, when I heard him say a couple of hundred yards down the road, I gave myself 50-50. In conclusion, Nicky Santoro serves as an example of masculinity for many reasons. He is valued, feared, cooperated with. He has, brings, and acquires value to himself and other people. He faces challenges. He has purpose, confidence, authenticity, and ambition. Nicky Santoro has the reputation, challenges, and psychology of a man, and serves in many ways, some good, most bad, to illustrate what a man is.